they accelerated a particle which split into atoms atoms split into electrons neutrons and protons and they continue to accelerate them they split some more and split some more into quarks leptons and many many other and after a long time of acceleration they found nothing on the other hand uh their euro counterparts in genetics continued to split the dna came up with a destructive and a very many controversial uh, object are they smarter than ancient uh, science is european science too juvenile compared to ours scholar east africa observes that for an organism to exist it must be able to sense itself completely think about that a uh, sense and move or behave accordingly sense of self equals omniscience and omnipresence of self omnipotence of self is the result the gadget filled world we live in today pursues a lot of curiosities and about and at top or top of it it denies that any african were intelligent but we show here the ugandan cesarean section where they are taking out a baby and the mother survived as recorded in the early 18th century was possible but science continues to quest to ask uh, questions how did the universe begin what is dark matter and dark energy maybe black matter or black energy is the original inquiry what is the mass hierarchy of neutrinos are they other undiscovered particles beyond the current known standard model of particle uh, physics do you know there is an african science that has answered so many of these questions thousands and thousands of years uh, before here is the talking drum the music genius which was able and was used by africans to send coded messages across thousands and thousands of miles before the invention of the telephone before the invention of writing by uh, europeans to answer the question on life, European science has come up with theories like evolution, space and matter and time, scientific structure of matter, quantum mechanics as their master stroke in explaining this phenomenon of matter. They say this is the source of matter. Therefore, their physics is the source for us to demonstrate if their science is mature. Currently, they have uh, constructed such a structure known as the Large Hydron Collider Tunnel at CERN in Switzerland. You can study and read from these uh, papers introducing and showing you here. The Large Hadron Collider, Supermetry Higgs Boson, CERN String Theory, Dark Matter and Dark Energy. The Large Hadron Collider is the largest and most powerful particle accelerator in the world. It was built by the European Union funding in Europe for the purpose of providing an experimental verification of the different theories within particle physics and high energy physics. So they used this to accelerate two beams of particles at high speeds or nearing the velocities of light with them colliding and from that they started and came up with uh, their theories of matter and what did they learn from this that will improve human life this is what they learned that matter uh, consists of uh, atoms which can be split into new electrons neutrons in the nucleus and protons and these two can have quarks and uh, quarks and uh, leptons that all ordinary matter belongs to these groups and electrons is electrical charge negative one and electrical charge is zero uh, rarely interacts with other matter is electron neutrino and the quarks have got up and down quarks electric charge and electric negative you also have got these other particles that existed after the big bang that's what they say the muon which is heavier relative to electron the muon neutrino created with the muons when some particles decay that's what they tell us and the charm which is heavier and the strength which is heavier relative to the uh, down and so you got this now they are found only in cosmic rays and accelerators the tau the tau neutrino and the top and beta and then you've got the antimatter on top of that this is the explanation that they give us fantastic great you can study this on wirescosmos.com uh, do you know above all this in african science which had answered these questions thousands of years before Europeans knew about an atom shocked are you you shouldn't be shocked too long this book sacred symbols of the dogon the key to advanced science in the ancient Egyptian hieroglyphics by Clay Scranton get this book from uh, Amazon and from any other source and read it dogon cosmology as stated it's clearly defined by the dogon priest the cosmology is de to describe the creation of the universe and matter so our ancestors had the answer in their hands, in their cosmology, in their explanation. The answers existed. 
The events of this mythological creation are reviewed through a carefully composed set of storylines whose role is to introduce the concepts, themes, keywords, and symbols that are foundational to cos Dragon cosmology. So that's the, that's, that's, that's the fact. Now, in the same book, he demonstrates this fact beyond any reasonable doubt. Scientific structure of matter. This is the, how science thinks about matter today. Our unformed waves, perception, vibration mass, calabial space, string intersections, membranes, quarks, protons, neutrons, electrons, and atoms. This is what our ancestors did. If we, we were to organize the component stages of matter as described by the Dogon cosmology and present it in a roughly a chronological sequence, the following table would be the result. Dogon mythological structure of matter. So this was answered without all building all the hydro slides. Waves of matter, vibrating threads, seven vibrational patterns within the egg, Calabiao space, the coiled thread, four quantum forces, germination of the Sene, more than 266 Sene or signs. The Sene seed or protons, neutrons, electrons like that. Or, which is the atom, so our ancestors knew all about that. Some electrons shown at three different uh, positions in a plane of rotation. This is how science has discovered that electrons flow like this in a magnetic field and generate uh, energy as well. Each vector is perpendicular to its own uh, plane of rotation. So these are the planes of rotations. Closely followed, the dogon has the shape of the Sene seed, exactly the same orbital pattern traced by the electron today is given by science. Our ancestors knew that. When it comes to the Calabiao space, which is dimensional space, intraspace and interspace, the Dogon cosmologist tests that. It looks like that. Exactly the vibration within the Dogon egg. Almost 30 years after the publication of the Dogon scientific explanation, scientists claim to have discovered the string theory as the basis of matter. Who copied who there? Now, this is the Dogon mythological symbols. Very important. We are going to deal with this in detail. This is the glyphs or the signs. These are the shapes uh, description, and this is the symbolic and scientific meaning. So this shape, which is a pyramid or like that, is unformed universe. In Dogon cosmology, this cliff represents Amas egg or Amen's egg or Amen's creation, the primordial structure said to have held the potential seeds and signs of the future universe. It takes the same shape as Stephen Hawking's diagram of the event horizon of a black hole. Same. So Hawking's ass. This crossing of the same seed, the electron flow, which we have shown already, it's exactly like that. It matches one of the classic shapes of the electron orbit in science. Straight. The spiraling coil, our ancestors knew that. The glyph takes the same shape as the cosmic thread defined in Dogon's cosmology. It is the primordial body whose vibration results in the formation of matter. It corresponds to a string in the string theory. You can read the straight. So who copied you the clay, which represents the moon, the planets and the images of bigger bodies. This is exactly it represents the particle in the essence of particles and waves in science today. We go to the earth. This is how the earth looks like. The flat earth and a dome on top hemisphere glyph. The shape of the hemisphere glyph most closely resembles the shape of the dog on granary, which Ogotomeli, the scientist, priest scientist said it represents earth, the mythological key word earth seems to correspond to the scientific concept of mass or matter. The eight chambers of the Dogon granary recall the eight stages of the Calabiao space. The Dogon defines seven stages of vibration, which are dimensions, and eighth stage of tearing during which the co coiled thread attains mass. So mass is attained. It is not pre-existing. Straightforward. So here is the question that we have we have to ponder how did the africans know this before the europeans how come this is not flooded in journals mass media and taught in universities because european science is too juvenile compared to our science hence it is so selfish as to refuse to acknowledge that they are newcomers and that they are all the traditional ways to understand creation matter space than the laboratory. The earth today demonstrates that modern science is a failure. Environmental pollution, water pollution, air pollution which rises from burning of fossil fuels, space pollution, space junk which is shown here, bloodshed, wars, murders, racism, all that demonstrates it. And also 
Science has a tendency to ignore large bodies of evidence and they cherry pick and they invent other evidences. On, side, on the other side, on genetics, they have led us to understand that they can create such animals, temper with the natural state of living organisms. Thousands of buffalo, sh sheep, and goats died after grazing GMO cotton. Mice and rats had fewer and smaller babies with shorter lifespans. Most third generation genetically modified fed uh, soy hamsters lost the ability to procreate. The stomach lining of rats fed GMO potatoes showed excessive potential for cancer. The organ lesions altered liver, testicles, and pancreas. Cells compromised immune system signs of toxicity and changed enzyme levels appeared. So you can study more on this and see whether you can say modern science is has achieved anything. The principle of failure of modern science is demonstrated by other clear thinking scientists. Check this uh, website to read more slides. Go to this and read these slides. The knowledge obtained through mathematical language has not given us a sensible picture of nature and the life and its working. Very true. It has failed in its objective. Human quest for knowledge is thus turning self-destructive, which we see. The principle of failure exists in our failure to comprehend what is light, matter, atomic matter, and how energy is enfolded in them. It exists in our life, in our failure to observe and understand the energy life cycle, the energy cycle of nature in which we exist and exist harmoniously with it. We are now left with two sciences, linear science, where cause is proportional to effect and nonlinear science where cause is not proportional to effect example a can of gasoline exploding because of a small spark we have failed to comprehend its togetherness it caused us to review and rethink the foundation on which we exist and function this is what they say therefore we say seek the old ways to save your soul today information concerning african mysteries the basis of true nature science and concepts of spirituality cannot be pe penetrated or shared to everybody. That's why our science is mysterious and needs initiates. This is the major reason why the authors who publicized the Grogon mysteries obtained their information from those that were initiated and stayed with the Dogons for over 15 years. Even so, they were given the lowest levels of knowledge without the core being revealed to them because the core is revealed across generations, generation after generation. True learning is a process. Real initiation is the only way to be part of such uh, knowledge. Committee Hebrew Ethics offers such services, offers you ancient African original applied principles for an amazing life experience with the result that you master many life's problems and challenges. Shares how you must recapture your true identity taken away from you by the system. How to reactivate your totem. How to reactivate your divine spark ignition and creativity through applying specific ancient ancestral rituals. Thus, systematically, this will allow you to live a healthy, happy, harmonious, balanced life even against the odds that includes death. The ancient African Hamid system creates a knowledgeable individual who is not easy to oppress. Nevertheless, it will make your heart as light as a feather, yet builds in you boldness, focus, and blissful success in whatever noble goal you set your desire on. Join and be a co-worker today. We conclude with the scholar East Africa's thoughts are modified. The colonial omnipotence, omnipresence, and omniscience of the European God identity is that you or any other object of existence must not sense yourself or be omniscient or omnipresent or omnipotent over yourself so that it can control you and what you think of yourself using religion and calling itself an omnipotent God through the science uh, religions like atheism that comes from books like the Bible, the Quran, the Torah, the Gita. We can use the Bantu Swahili, which is closer to the ancient Bantu of Egypt, to deduce some misconception. Amen Ra is Amen Shua, Nimishuo Jua. He or she is known or sensed me, so I sense myself. The word Kama is actually a corruption of the Bantu word Kama, meaning like. It's actually Kemi. So you get Mimike 
ni kama mimi meaning only i am myself i am like myself cryptochrome is a plant dna so somehow some african got them to say he ni mimea meaning this is a plant possibly corrupted to himalaya come back home to the knowledge of our ancestors subscribe to our channel hamiti hebrew ethics this priest is rabbi lm tumizulu this is our email contact us and let us get in touch and work together thank you tatenda salan kahle siabonga good